road again. Uh, so this will be the beginning of the third and last leg of, well, the video. Um, I'm on my second to last leg of the whole trip right now. I left uh, Muncho Lake, the Northern Rockies Lodge, this morning about a little before 7 and it's 9.01 now. Um, so my plan is to stop at Watson Lake, refuel, and then drive out the rest of the way to Whitehorse. And uh, it's been pretty awesome morning so far. Um, saw a lot of signs that said that there was buffalo in the area and I didn't really believe it. And then I literally got five miles north of Muncho Lake and there was a small herd of bison <laughs> right on the side of the road. Uh, it was too dark to even get a photo or try to film them. And then about, I don't know, 10 miles back, there was two standing on the side of the road, so I did get to stop real quick and snap a photo with my phone. So, didn't even think about grabbing the GoPro, but they are wild bison. Uh, they just live out here in this area. So that was really cool to see because I've never really seen them in the wild. I've seen them like on farms and stuff, but they're here. So uh, just kind of driving cautiously. Plus the, these roads aren't the greatest. When I left Mucho Lake, it was awesome. The roads were clear, nothing on them. But then I got up here and there's a little snow pack and everything so uh, if everything goes right I should be in Whitehorse Yukon Territory probably by 3 3 30 after stopping for fuel and to get something to eat because uh, when I left this morning they weren't even open so I could even at least get like a 7 up or anything so now I gotta wait till I get to uh, Watson Lake so for now uh, just gonna enjoy the Northern Rockies and uh, hopefully see some more buffalo. <laughs> Just found a huge bison herd as soon as I got into the Yukon Territory. <laughs> All right, so I just left Watson Lake, refilled the truck and now I got about 260 ish miles to go to get to Whitehorse. Uh, I already lost GPS service so I know it's 270 miles and the range on my truck says 380 so should be good and if not I still got all the fuel in the fuel cans. Um, so after I stopped and took some photos with the big camera um, of those bison, I realized some of them had collars and some of them had ear tags. So I'm assuming they're someone's uh, I don't want to say pets, but someone's like herd that they just kind of let them roam wherever in that area. So. It works for them, works for them, but it was still cool to see him. You know, you don't really see him in like a, a wildish 
atmosphere like this where you know they could get hit by semis or trucks or cars they could get you know preyed upon by wolves or whatever main predator is in this area bears so I got into White Horse yesterday, right around <coughs> four. GPS and signal lost. Took some time to uh, relax, so I'm going to uh, give you a quick tour of the actual town of White Horse. This is the capital of the Yukon Territory, and we'll just say it's kind of interesting for being the capital. So. Uh, here it is. Yukon River is actually right over there. You can see it right there. Uh, so that Yukon River runs all the way up and through Alaska. Like I will literally be pretty much right next to it. But don't get me wrong, like for the town being small and everything for being a capital, it's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little place. I'm trying to figure out how to get to this brewery so I can get some lunch since I ate at like seven o'clock this morning. So won't lie, not exactly 100% sure know where I'm going. But I mean, journey for watching the first two legs this is the third and last leg thankfully I got up this morning and left White Horse about 630 and right now I'm about 112 miles from the US border the Alaska border in Canada so kind of in the middle of the Yukon Territory um, the Sun's not even up yet like it's barely up like it's just light enough now where I don't have to actually run my headlights but they're still on because they're on auto right now but third and last leg or well third and last video last leg of the whole trip um, so yeah I got about just under seven and a half hours and I'll be in Fairbanks at uh, the house I'm gonna be renting so once I get through some of this fog and probably film more of driving in Alaska than Yukon just because it's kind of foggy, um, shouldn't have too much longer than I'll get there. Got to sign one more thing and then 
I get to start moving all the stuff from the trailer and the truck into the house and uh, that will be it so it's been a long long journey I'm pretty sure by time it's all said and done I'll have 80 hours driving between 80 and 82 hours total driving time covered about 4,300 miles uh, drove through I think 13 states and then three Canadian provinces and then one territory so it's been one hell of a journey but I've seen a lot of cool things that most people will never get to see I got to mark Banff off my bucket list so that was big to me. I've seen moose, I've seen elk, caribou, bison. I got to see a wolf and then a couple foxes here and there. Um, so far this morning, I haven't seen much other than saw two moose about I don't know, five miles back. There was a big glacier rung off area and I'm pretty sure there's two moose out there drinking. Um, so yeah, if I would have flown and you know, this trip would have been over in a few hours. I wouldn't have seen half the things I've seen. So, I guess when it comes down to it, like, yeah, it was a long drive. A lot of miles on my truck. Um, but it was well worth it to me just to see it all. Will I do it again? Probably not. It's probably like a once in a lifetime drive and I don't plan on driving it again. officially made it to Alaska. Uh, I just went through the border and through customs and ended up talking to uh, the customs officer for a little bit. Um, he was kind of just telling me about like different places to see and go while I'm up here and places to hunt. Um, really really nice guy like I wish I could have sat and talked a little bit longer with him but there was another truck that pulled in pretty much right behind me uh, right at the end of our conversation but really really nice guy um, so yeah now I got about five hours and I will be in Fairbanks and uh, I I'm really excited like uh, <clears throat> uh, it's been a dream of mine to come to Alaska for years uh, since my grandfather and my grandma came literally three months after I was born they came up here and then my grandfather's been a couple more times and uh my favorite picture album that he always had was their trip to Alaska. And uh, I always knew one day I was going to make it here. <laughs> Just didn't know when or how. And uh, now I'm here. So, uh, yeah, so I got five hours to go and then I will be in Fairbanks and be at the uh, at the house so Thank you. 